Whisper. Redivo, one, two, three links in front, down by the 75. Calvi battles away, but Redivo smashes them. Went by three and a half. Yeah, really satisfying um, result there with Redivo through the week. He, um, he's a great example of, of a, what a one-paced horse really is. He's, uh, when we gallop him here at home, he doesn't, go, doesn't run very good sectionals or anything like that. He's, in fact, he's quite slow, but he's able to uh, continue and sit on that one speed uh, for a long, long time. He, he's, uh, sectionals showed us that he was going the same speed the second lap as he was the first lap, so, and he just continued that and just outstayed those horses on the weekend. Um, inter a really interesting horse, and um, so I'm going to try and step him up now. I'll probably give him a run over the 3,000 metres. The further they go, the better for this horse, and uh, if he can continue to sort of sit on 12 and a half of the furlong he's going to win a lot of races over two certainly over two mile uh, the race at Cranbourne in about three weeks uh, it's a big jumping grade but he's going to drop about five uh, kilos in weight too so bowl along up on the speed just, all we need to do is for the jockey to sort of just sit on a nice speed and uh, and hopefully he can outstay them but uh, really really good result I, I could have um, maybe could have blinkered him up and maybe won a race uh, one or two starts earlier but uh, we really had to go through a process with this horse and teach him how to race and you saw the other day he was really good he jumped he put himself in a good spot he relaxed during the run then when the rider asked him to quicken up he really quickened up well so uh, well done to the team. Uh, hopefully there's plenty more wins left in Redivo. Got Screw Creek in here at Warrnambool on Saturday. Um, if you'd asked me on Tuesday, would he run? I would say he definitely would run. His work was very good on Tuesday. He's drawn barrier one. I, I was really wrapped with him. Um, but I thought his work this morning was a little bit plain. And uh, I don't know if he's, if he's worked a bit brilliant Tuesday and it's flattened him. So I'm going to get a blood count taken from him and see how that goes. But um, uh, he's drawn one. It's a good 1,700. It's a perfect distance. The horse is healthy. His work on Tuesday was great. But um, uh, on his work this morning, it was quite plain. And he sort of was a bit disinterested and it's almost like he's, he's galloped up too good on Tuesday and left it on the training track so um, I'll have a good think about what I do with that but that's Screw Creek at um, Warrnambool on uh, Saturday. Zippity Zoo Star goes to Warrnambool on the weekend. Uh, this is a proper horse. Um, he's had plenty of time. He's shown us plenty in his first couple of preps. He's run a couple of nice placings and uh, everything's starting to come together for him now. I'm galloping him up with, um, you know, benchmark 70 horses and he's sort of staying up with them, no problems at all. So big, raw sort of horse. He, he used to always be a real heavy sort of going horse and I was really concerned that he's just going to be this big, slow, bloody boat of a horse, you know, but he, uh, he's, uh, he's keeping his speed really good. We give him a nice gallop through the week and he's very fast. Uh, he's ready to go. So um, 1,400 first up. Um, might be a little bit of an ask without a trial, but I don't think I need to trial him. You can see his coat is just as beautiful as you get any coat in Australia. Um, he's eating well, he's healthy, he's sound. He's been really well educated, so he's ready to go. But um, he'll go very, very well on the weekend and then just keep following him because he'll, um, he'll go to city grade racing and hopefully get to a really good level. That's Zippity Zoo Star. Uh, blow in. He's going to get run first up on the weekend. Um, I just, I, I'm going to send him to the races without a trial. Um, and uh, and see how we go. I'm just not 100% happy with it. You can see his coat. His coat's okay, um, but uh, I'm not 100% happy with it. His um, fitness is pretty good, um, but I just reckon he needs a solid trial. Now, um, the tracks, the way they've been lately, have been really, really hard. So I'd prefer to take him to the races and, uh, and give him a start rather than just giving him a trial on a firm track. So uh, he's probably a bit vulnerable. He's going bloody well. Um, he, you know, his times and everything are, are very much matching up to what he was doing last time in albeit last time and he was running on wet tracks. Um, so he's, he's a horse that sort of naturally gets back um, and going to be on top of the ground. So um, I think he'll probably get back and, and flash home late. Um, I'm not 100% sure if he um, can win a 1,200 metre race, but he'll, he'll step up to a 1,400 his next start um, after that. But um, I just thought it'd be better off we take him to the races, give him a trip away, give him a good solid gallop there, and hopefully that'll just bring his coat on really well, and then he'll be ready to go sort of second up. But um, he's going good, and, uh, and uh, you know, he's, he's obviously one of those real high quality horses, so um, uh, he'll be, you know, he'll be very, very competitive. Um, I'm just not sure if he's going to be able to give him a big start and beat him over 1,200, but um, let's hope he can. Let's blow in. Uh, at Flemington on Sunday, New Year's Day, I've got little Miss Gutzer in. Now, 
Uh, her track work this week was quite brilliant. So she's ready to go. Her race the other day in town was very good um, and uh, I couldn't be any happier with her track work. It's one of those things, uh, do you take her to town and have a crack at a big race or do you take it to a lower grade race and just win? So I've got her in at Geelong on Wednesday and I've also got her in at Flemington on Saturday, but on Sunday. But um, yeah, I'm sort of leaning. She's drawn a good gate. Michael D goes on. Good jockey, good barrier, good track. It's going to, I would think Flemington's going to suit on speed horses and from that gate she should land right up the leader's bum so she should get every chance. Um, uh, I, I think it might be worthwhile having a crack at a really good race when she's at her peak. Like she's third up, 1400, um, every tick in the box I could possibly do with her and I suppose I'll walk away from Flemington on Sunday knowing exactly where I'm at with her, you know, if, she, um, if she's going to be really competitive in that Saturday mare's grade or whether I need to drop her back a grade but um, uh, I'm pretty keen to take her certainly on the way she is. If she's nice and bright and her blood comes back this week I think we'll have a roll of the dice. If not we can uh, hold her back for three or four days and go to Geelong on Wednesday. Got Solar Flash here at Burrum Beat on Saturday, on Sunday. Um, I think it's going to get ballasted. I'm not sure. They need to divide the race for her to get a run. But um, uh, her previous two runs were really good, very close to the mark. I stepped her up to the 15.50 at Geelong uh, on Boxing Day and she just didn't run the trip. She jumped out, she led, but she led too keen and uh, and then didn't finish off. So dropping her back to the 1300 at Burrum Beat, it's a real good front running track. <coughs> we'll kick her out, we'll go forward, probably lead or sit outside the leader and she'll take a fair bit of beating there. But um, I don't know, it's a fair way down the order. I think she was, they're only going to run 12, and I think she was number 12. They're only going to run 10. I think she was number 12 in the order when I looked at it earlier today. So uh, they probably need a divide for her to get a run. But anyway, if she gets a run, she'll be hard to beat. Solar Flash. Uh, so we've got Grable in at uh, Tarang on Monday. Um, if she's she going to bite me. And um, come here, girl. Come here. And... Um, she, uh, so we've gone through a bit of a process with this filly. We, we sort of, she won a couple of races last time in and went through her grades very quickly and probably hit her mark as far as things go. So we're just trying to teach her to run a mile. If she could run a mile, we just hope that it'll open up a quite a few options for her. So we've been jumping out, going back on her, riding her quiet. And uh, over 1,400 last start, she was very, very strong to the line. So goes up to the miles as her first crack at this. Um, we'll ride her conservatively early. Hopefully she can sort of land midfieldish and then be strong. She only has to reproduce her run from last week and and she'll be all over this sort of race. I think she'll probably be the best horse in the race. She's just got to get her head around having the second part of her race better than the first part. And uh, I thought last start was the first time she's really shown us that she can do that. So that's Grable at Tarang on Monday. I've uh, got Miletus in at Geelong on Wednesday. Uh, he was really good at Sandown the other day. Uh, very tough over the 2100. Goes up to the 2200 and drops back to 64 grade. So, uh, you know, he's going to be right around about the mark, isn't he? I'll give him a nice solid gallop on Saturday morning. That'll just top him up nicely for Wednesday. I probably don't need to do a real lot with him after that. Um, but he's in good order. He's nice and healthy. He's um, eating his head off. And he's come through the Sandown run really well. So that's Miletus at Geelong on Wednesday. Yeah, look, I've got Scampster in at uh, Geelong on Wednesday. I've been tricking around with where to take him, and I, I just wasn't happy with a couple of his gallops. Um, so I've backed right off him and, and kept him nice and fresh. His first couple of runs this time in have been great, and uh, he just went a little bit flat on me. So I've backed right off him. Um, he can have a little sharp gallop on Saturday and go back to the races on Wednesday, and I, I think he'll be really hard to beat on Wednesday. That's Scampster at Geelong. Okay, guys, uh, welcome to Around the Stables. Uh, there was plenty of shade thrown at uh, me and Big Jobs for the video, running the video last week, but uh, we produced with a winner uh, in Redivo. Uh, yeah, it was great to see that horse. Um, he's sort of re been really consistent this prep, and uh, yeah, it was good for, for him to finally break through his maiden, uh, and no more uh, importantly than to do it on Boxing Day at Geelong, so uh, that was a great result for the stable. Uh, as for this week, uh, yeah, quite an exciting weekend. Uh, New Year's Eve weekend and uh, a couple of horses at the stable got a bit of time for. Uh, Blowing and uh, this absolute monster, <laughs> Zibidi Zusta. He, um, he was probably a little bit disappointing for the stable last uh, last prep. He sort of he was galloping up with horses that were going to town and being really competitive. And uh, yeah, he was unable to break through his maiden. But uh, he's come back in this time in, and uh, yeah, I think he's improved lengths just in his um, the way um, he's working and uh, his mannerisms and, and things like that. And just uh, he's certainly got a little bit more um, zip about him. Uh, pardon the pun. Um, but uh, yeah, no, he um, yeah really wrapped with his progress, and uh, I think he's actually even. 
grown, um, which I, I didn't think it was possible, but uh, yeah, really wrapped with uh, yeah, where he's at. He'll, uh, he'll head to Warrnambool uh, for their New Year's Eve twilight meeting, um, 1400 meter maiden. Uh, looks to be a little bit of depth, but um, I think this guy goes pretty good and uh, yeah, it'll be a good, uh, we'll get a good line on where he's at. He, um, probably just the longer he, he went on last prep, the, he got quite dour and things like that. So this time in, we're just uh, really focusing on keeping a lot of speed into him and um, and just sort of, yeah, just train him quite fresh and uh, and uh, have him feeling well. But uh, yeah, really uh, looking forward to this guy's prep and um, hopefully he can um, put his head in front on uh, Sunday, uh, Saturday at Warnable. Yeah, that's it for another week at MC Lodge. Actually, that's it for another year at MC Lodge. Thanks for everybody for uh, all your support through the year. We've uh, had another good year. We're sort of tracking on, sort of pretty much on par this year to what we were last year. So that's pretty good. Um, a couple of really nice sort of progressive horses coming through this year. Um, you know, a couple of genuine city sort of great horses, and uh, you know, little Belmere and these horses uh, look like they're going to make stakes. Great horses. So a little stable like ours. It's all pretty exciting. Um, Apologise last week for the video with leaving those two clowns in charge of it. It was a it was a debacle. But anyway. Um, <laughs> You <laughs> have to do them doing that to me while I was at the trials. Anyway, uh, what else? Thanks, everybody, for support for the year. I um, hope everyone had a good Christmas, and uh, we all uh, get plenty of winners during the new year. Until next week, see you later. Yeah, good week, good really good. Let's start again. That's a blooper straight off. That's terrible, isn't it? Um, and hopefully he'll race on and... Uh, there we go, stuff myself up then. G'day guys, big jobs here. Oh, bit of tapping. So that was pretty exciting. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, yep, no good. <laughs> Bloody brilliant. <laughs>